Hi there, it's me, Free Spirit. Want to go for a ride? <laughs> I should explain that there's a little bit of a wobble going on. <laughs> I'm really trying to avoid using my phone with the gimbal, but I may go back to it. I'm just afraid of ruining my phone, but it's very hard to do a video where there's no wiggle, especially on a horse. So part of this has been stabilized, which makes it kind of dreamy, trippy looking. And then part of it is um, the GoPro on my chest strap was really wobbly. So I wasn't going to make the video, but I kind of like it. And it was such a beautiful time. I really wanted to share it with you. So let's get started. Okay then, first we're going to head out northbound. I'm going to put some timestamps in the description so you can see what we get up to. Northbound on the Pacific Crest Trail, and then we get a little bit um, lost on a new trail for a while. I didn't video the whole thing because it was hours long, <laughs> but at one point I turned back around. Then we cross back and head south for the second half of the video. Please excuse the little schmutz on the lens for the first five or six minutes here till I realize what's going on. <laughs> for the most part, I'm going to try and leave the natural sound, the ambient sounds of the day. It was a little windy and I'll just pop in once in a while to explain a couple of things. I hope you enjoy this ride in my most favorite of places, Pacific Crest Trail in the San Gabriel Mountains. Let's go! Yay, we're on the trail! Where are you going, Raina? No passing. No passing. A little cricket. There we go. That's better. Ooh, see. Always nice to start with a good uphill. <sighs> it kind of gets the heebie jeebies out of them fast. <laughs> and quiet. Nobody here. Hold on. Sorry, God. I keep you over there.
You like it here, see? I'm being so good. Yep, good girl. It's a lot of stuff to organize. Holding the camera. Holding her reins. Holding the lead line for Reina behind me. wasn't a narrow trail. There's lots of ups and downs. Beautiful scenery, of course. Easy. Yeah, 
Ah, easy. Mama. Very Almost done. going. Take another month or so before all the little wildflowers start opening up here. It's probably about 7,000 feet here. It's just such a beautiful feeling to be surrounded by trees and green and see the mountains so close. PCT. Pacific Crest Trail. Two thousand six hundred and fifty miles, I think. Mm, this is the way to see it on the back of a horse. It's amazing trees. This one is huge. the visitor center and I'll show you the sign of the Pacific Crest Trail right here coming up. And give the horses a little bit of a break. Two seventy seven to Canada and three seventy three to Mexico. Maybe we should just go to Mexico. What are you looking for? Carrots?
just a few long switchbacks and we'll be coming back where we meet the road and where I park the trailer and we'll just go to the other side Much nicer than out in the wild open, like at my house. Sometimes I'll switch horses at the halfway point. a little more exercise before I saddle her again. She's got a little junky. And I want to get another saddle for her, I think, this year. Something a bit bigger for her and for me. So I'll just ride Z. knows exactly where she is. Mm. I love the way they just roll in to the valley. Sometimes it'll all be filled with clouds. Okay, silly. Ready? to see hikers coming up Pacific Crest Trail from Mexico because once they get back to where the trailer is they'll be hitching a ride down into town see what are you doing getting some food picking up boxes at the post office and maybe taking a day off and then coming back to this point to continue north to Canada Soon the trail will veer off away from the road. Comes another hiker. Yeah, look. Hello. Take an easy way. I always ask the hikers to say hello. This guy was a lot of fun to talk to. Hey, hi. 
Captain Tawel. We are Chit getting chatting. lots of good training today. We're meeting lots of people and bikes and cars and motorcycles and... Are you doing the whole trail with them? No. I live close. Right now. It's fun to stop and talk to them. I was actually talking to four or five different hikers who told me that in the 300 miles that they've covered, I was the first horse that they saw, or I was the first person with horses. So that was fun. We took our pictures and stuff. Everybody always asks me if they can borrow my extra horse. clear sky. So we're not going to go very far in this direction. But it's more interesting, I think, on this side because we actually are riding up to the top of a ski slope. Yeah, it gets very droppy offy on the side. Not on the skiing side, but on the back side. There's a campground in here and I like to take a little break out sometime. It's usually nice and shady.
And the horses like riding in the trees too. Look at this guy. An incredible tree, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. She realizes it's inevitable. She just finds that rear end power and traction. So now we cross over this little dirt road and we'll be up by the ski lift. Do you hear that? Oh! Oh, your buddy. See what he got. Are you a baby? Oh, it comes daddy. Look at that. Is that the baby?
What do you think? Oh, you're mad at him? Did you get back over there? him by the ear. But he didn't care. He went back to eating his bugs. It's so cute. Maybe that. You get to see a lot of stuff when you're sitting on a horse. Nothing's really afraid of. And now we're back on the trail heading home. And I switch to the GoPro chest mount. But it has terrible audio. So, it's a little bit of good horse crunchy. film as much on the way down. I was trying to figure out how the GoPro would be. So I let it run for quite a bit, but I edited this whole thing down from about five hours long. So we'll jump around a little bit and I'll show you some of the points of interest on the way back. this section, we come back out to a little knife edge behind the top of the ski lifts. It looks very challenging. It's scary, but it's a lot of fun and it's a very good trail. A test of nerves. And good horses. First we go up, up, up. Hmm. I told you there's a lot of hills. This is a reservoir. This is the water that is collected so that in the winter time when it's cold enough, they make snow on the mountain. They have these jet blaster things all over the mountain. Interesting. A lot of the times it's completely filled. Oh, we haven't had that much rain. Afraid of snow. And now we go down this long, rocky, bumpy hill. And here's my favorite part coming up. We used to be able to cut through where the ski lifts are, but they've roped it off now, so you have to go out on this little edge. This is where I actually grab hold of some mane. Keep myself steady. Here we go. Okay. 
grassy. A little bit more. Damn, that tree crashed down. Okay, no bridge. your hands. Grab some mane. And let her go. Good girl. It's hard to show. There's a huge drop off to the left. Last push. Last oomph, oomph, oomph. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see the view. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Girl. She got one ear pointing down that mountain. <laughs> Don't go that way. See, so you can't cut across here. There's ropes right here. It's hard to see them. See the road way in the distance. Kind of winds around the hills. And the trail is up above it, kind of parallel. And then it goes around to the right behind the road. So we still have a little ways to go. Come back over to the desert side. to the mountainside. I never get tired of this place because everywhere you look, there's a beautiful view. Whether you're going north or south. When we're on endurance rides, NZ is keeping the pace of a trot for a long, long time. Uh, I'll just be saying, chicka cha, 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 chicka cha. And then if we canter really fast, I say, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha, chicka cha. You have to amuse yourself when you're alone riding for a long time. But now we're almost back. Around the next bend, we'll be able to see the trailer.
Pockets and Yummy. And some more carrots. Yeah, that's your trailer. Good girl, Z. I always get a little euphoric after a ride is finished and everything has gone smoothly. You don't want some water? You want goodies? You just want goodies? You should drink some water. Good girl. She's humoring me. I'm gonna give you some goodies. Okay? Let's put some mushies in there. So I give them a senior feed, which is really healthy and organic, and it has some molasses in it, but it's a balanced uh, feed. It has electrolytes and digestive enzymes and all that good stuff. And usually I let it sit for a while so it gets to be a mush, okay. but this way I get them to drink water faster. But it's a mess. <laughs> That's one way to get them to drink. They make a huge mess. Said and done. More or less, they get half a gallon of water and some electrolytes and some yummy sugar. We're not very far from home, only 20 30 minutes, so they'll have their hay once we get there. And now I gotta undo the girth, get how sweaty and salty it is. Breast collar. Uh uh. Wait a minute. Under the saddle pad. Wait. I'll bring some more. Yeah, I'm back in training. A lot of work. Okay. 
Mm. And she can really relax. I'm just letting the rest of the grain soak up a little bit. More water. Give her a chance to breathe. Feel really relaxed. Swing out the saddle rack. And mm -mm. she's trying to close it as I'm putting the saddle on. Bunk. Take the pad out. There. And now I'll give them the rest of their yummies. Okay, go finish the rest. do this because whenever you have breaks during endurance rides you want them to tank up on mushy mush or water and hay and carrots or <laughs> okay thanks guys but it is messy okay. I gotta watch any uh, hikers needed a ride down to town. I often have a bunch of them in the back seat or in the back of the truck with their packs when they come up here, but not today. I have the drop down windows open with the bars so they can't stick their heads out, but just in case there's any little rocks or debris flying around, it protects their eyes. There's a lot of stuff riding horses, I tell you. See, you can see right through it very easily. Yeah. They really like having them on when it's really super windy or in the heat of the summer when there's a lot of flies around their face. There you go. 
I'm so proud of my girls. There are people coming and going in the parking lot. And, you know, they're not used to standing on pavement. And, uh, they did so great. But they know this place pretty well. Alright, let's go in the trailer. sides up. And then we're going to open the divider. Z goes in the front. Irina goes in the back. Okay. And I forgot to put her halter back on, so uh, just gonna use this little combo halter that goes under her pack of water. They love to go in their trailer. She likes to squish again. Hold on. She's not going to go out. I would always catch the rope if she started to. But now I go out and I tie the rope on the loop on the side of the trailer. So she has room to move her head around, put her head down if she needs to call, clear her throat. But she can't turn around. And then when I get home, I'll undo it from outside and then open the door. It's a safe way. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye.